huge problem in our industry. In this video, I want to talk about something that I think is not talked about nearly enough. We talk about brands. We talk about things that are going on in our industry. We talk about crooked contractors, all kinds of different things that are really, at the end of the day, a cost to you, a cost to the homeowner, the consumer, somebody that's got to pay the bills, somebody that's got to be the fall guy at the end of the day, somebody that essentially has to pay the price because things are not being done correctly. It's not always the people that are actually doing these things incorrectly, such as a contractor or a handyman that's not actually licensed and insured or whoever it is that is cutting corners. Somebody at the end of the day has to pay for all this. Usually it's you. It's usually it's the end consumer. You either had the system installed by somebody, you went and bought a house that already had the system installed, but because someone was cutting corners, you now have to pay the bill. You're the one that's got to pay the price. And something that we don't talk about nearly enough in our industry, aside from all of those things, is something that I think is probably the biggest corner cut. The thing that ends up costing homeowners the most amount of money at the end of the day. And that is acid in our systems. And I've seen hundreds, if not thousands of other videos here on YouTube, across the internet, where guys are talking about different problems and different things that homeowners can look out for. But probably most common thing that I've seen in our industry, aside from a failed capacitor on a hot summer day, is acid in these systems. How does it get there? Why is acid in these systems? We'll get to that in just a second. Stay tuned and we're going to talk about things that you can do as a homeowner to alleviate this problem. But how common is it? I mean, it's super common. I've seen tons of coil failures, compressor failures, anything to do with that refrigeration loop that will then eventually spring a leak because of the corrosion and the wear and tear that this acid in the system ends up causing. And some of these repairs are quite expensive, right? I mean, if you're gonna have a part replaced, even under warranty, you're looking at sometimes the labor of the person doing it, you're sometimes looking at the refrigerant, maybe the warranty doesn't cover the refrigerant. And some of these repairs are thousands of dollars and it's all due to this problem. It's all due to the acid in that system. So it's a big deal. It's, it's very important to do your best to get rid of these problems or alleviate them before they start. Now, let's talk about why that acid is there. A large majority of the heating and air systems that are out there have oils in them that react to other things. That's why people that do this correctly, heating and air guys that do this correctly, are always making sure that things are clean, we're pulling good vacuums, we're purging with nitrogen, doing triple evacuation, all the things that we can control and do to get that system nice and clean. And so when there are contaminants or moisture in that system, these oils become acidic. I had a guy in one of my classes not long ago, and he was almost kind of trying to embarrass me in front of the entire class. He said, when is this particular brand, he was throwing out brands, when is this brand going to fix their coil issue? It seems like every single one we put in, there's a coil issue. What he didn't realize is I have installed a bunch of that brand. I used to own a heating and air company and I had to tell him because he's over here saying, look, almost every single one we install we are replacing the coil within a year or two. And I had to tell him, hey, we're over here and I've installed hundreds if not thousands of that brand over the years and I've only ever had like maybe two coils that we've had to replace. And so not to be a jerk to this guy, the problem was him. It was obviously him. Something he or his company is not doing correctly is literally ruining these systems. It's not the brand, it's not the system itself, it's the people that are installing these systems and not doing everything they're supposed to that's creating the acid in these systems and ultimately creating failures, creating those leaky indoor coils. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that every single system out there, just because it's installed properly, doesn't mean it's never gonna have an issue. That's not what I'm saying. But when you're looking at statistics, you're looking at ratio, you're looking at experience from others when they're saying, well, I think that brand's fine. I, I usually put them in and I never hear back from the customer. And then you have someone else that's saying, hey, I have nothing but issues with that brand. Uh, you know, there's some sort of writing on the wall there, right? There's a common denominator there, if you will. And it happens to be 
you. It happens to be the person installing it if you're the one having tons of issues. So ultimately, these systems, there is a right and wrong way to install them. That's why when we hear of things not being done correctly, we hear of DIY systems, we hear of professionals cutting corners. That's why it's such a big deal. It's not so much, oh, it's a little sloppy or, oh, it's not as pretty of an installation, but it still works. No, if you're having lots of issues, there might be a reason for that. Now, what do you do if you're a homeowner? If you're the homeowner that at the end of the day, you have had some issues or you want to get in front of this, this is something you can literally have tested. You can have a heating and air company test the oil in that system. There's these little kits. They're not free, but they're not that expensive either. And they can test the oil in that system and let you know if there is acid in that system. And one step further is if you have that tested and you find out there is acidity in that system, there are products that can neutralize that acid. So this kind of goes back to not just coil failures, but when you hear of guys installing multiple compressors in a system, they need to be doing things to make sure that they're brazing with nitrogen, they're triple evacuating, they are maybe installing a suction line filter dryer if it needs it. Definitely replacing that liquid line filter dryer anytime and every time that system is opened up and testing for this acid, doing something about it something proactive to try to inhibit this from continuing to be an issue. I'm going to put down in the description of this video a couple products that can help you test for acid and also neutralize that acid. But this is something I believe that should be done by a pro, somebody that knows what they're doing and somebody that can get in front of this so you don't have future issues Hopefully not ongoing issues if you've had issues in the past, but definitely inhibit issues in the future. Let me know your thoughts. Leave me a comment down below if you think that there is a problem here, if you've had multiple failures, or if you've ever had acid in your system before. I'd love to hear about that. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I share five reasons I think you should wait before buying a new HVAC system. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.